We have Rashawn Spees, Alec Ayer, and Marvin Wilson with us after Ferrum's 62-61 overtime win. Um, Ray, talk about how exciting that was down the stretch uh, to come back from down four in regulation with 15 seconds to go, tie it up, and go into overtime and win. Um, it was very exciting. Um, when I came out the game, I, I don't remember how many seconds was on the clock. I didn't know if, if that was going to be the last time I was going to play. Um, but Marvin made a, or somebody made a steal, then Marvin made a big layup. And then once we went into overtime, I knew I had to make plays you know, to win the game. I'm seeing it. Marvin, there's got to be some pressure. You're down there all by yourself down there. The big long pass comes in. You know you got to make this layup. How much pressure was that for you? Man, it's not too much pressure. I had enough time, so I just took my time, went up strong, finished. And uh -huh. then I came back on the other end, had to get a big steal to fit into the overtime. Okay. Alec, going into overtime, what did you guys, what was the game plan? I mean, did you have a, an idea that you wanted to keep it away from one of their guys, or did you guys have set plays for who you wanted to score for us? I mean, for them, for we just want to keep them from scoring and let us score. But uh, big time, we wanted to go to Ray down low because he was killing it the entire game. But we just seemed to do both. So. Yeah, Ray, when you hit the two free throws at the end, I mean, is that something you dream about? I mean, is he never, have you ever had, been in that position before? I mean, um, I, I've been in that position before, but not all the time have I made both of them. Free throws are my strong suit, but I've been working more this year since I've been slacking. But um, that goal right there, that's, that's my favorite goal. Everybody on the team knows that's my favorite oh, well, that goal. Way. That way. Why the is that your favorite goal? I'll just because I always make my free throws in that goal. So, well, that's where you got your flush dunk too. So yeah. Sorry. So when I when I got when I got to the line, I knew like I could make it because I always make free throws on that one. Uh, that second one you used about all every every ounce of the rim you could. Did you did you watch it? Did you? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, I just I was gonna take a dribble, but I didn't want to risk being fouled or getting it stolen. So where wherever I got the ball, I just took off. Just dunk it. Oh. But on that second free throw, you oh. used about you used about every ounce of the rim you could. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I kept my hand up. <laughs> Coach told me to keep my hand up so so I can uh, get the shooters to roll. You guys. Uh, it's the one thing that y'all may have learned late in the game was that if y'all could make number fifty for them dribble the basketball, some y'all could kind of prevent him from doing what he. Had been doing early and just bullying his way to the bucket, or yeah. Um, well, coach told me just to you know play him straight up, and then he told like the guards and stuff to dig. You know, whenever he puts the ball on the floor to dig and to double team, so you pass it back up because early on he got a bunch of you know easy buckets, which is my fault, but yeah, he told us to help out. So, when y'all sit down and write out a could you write could y'all as seniors write out a script this good uh, or not? It ended the way we wanted it then. We've got to go out with a win. Yeah, we got a uh, winning record for the season, so it feels good. But, so, I mean, the way the game played out, I mean, was, obviously, I guess you'd rather win by 30. Yeah, we wouldn't have been a blowout, but, I mean, hey, suspense is our thing, I guess. Do what? Suspense is our thing. No. It, did, uh, it didn't matter to me. If any one of us had the shot, uh, I'd give it to any, either one of them. And it ended up being ready, so it was a big time. <clears throat> You guys got the conference tournament coming up. Any uh, any druthers? You uh, do you have an idea, any idea where you'll be playing? We might play Greensboro. Um, I think with the with the win we finish fourth or fifth. But um, depending on if Piedmont and Lagrange, if Lagrange wins, then we are the four seed. But if Piedmont wins, we're the five seed and we play Piedmont. But if Lagrange wins, we play Lagrange. Any preferences? Uh, no, not really. Okay. No. Anything else? Okay, well, fellas, congratulations. Great win, and good luck in the USA South Tournament. Thank you. Thank you.